Hello and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. You're hanging out with Miser and this is episode 1 of our 7 Days to Die series for Darkness Falls. Uh, overwhelming, overwhelming requests for Darkness Falls. So here we are. I had to jump through a few hoops. Eugene Bean Blossom, thank you so, so much for helping me navigate this mod catastrophe that was happening. Uh, I literally could not have done this without you. Uh, this is Alpha 21, Darkness Falls mod. And let's go through the, the settings really quickly. It's It seems pretty normal so far. We do have this little Darkness Falls option over here, which I'm not sure what is. We'll check that out in a second. I'm getting used to the 60 minute cycles. The days go so fast, but it really puts a pep in your step which <laughs> you know me i kind of like to like lollygag a little bit so it's kind of nice we have the blood moon we're gonna say no warnings we don't need a warning we're badasses we anticipate we can feel it in our bones plus i kind of like the adrenaline it gives me trying to figure out when it is trying to keep track let's pop that all the way up zombie speed walk during the day sprint at night let's do a run a nice run we don't need feral zombies sprinting at us i'm gonna leave the blood moon speed at sprint for right now just to see what we're dealing with once we have an idea i'm probably gonna pop this right up to nightmare mode just because i like a good challenge if i'm not dying i'm not having fun so uh, advanced blocks, I always put it up to 300. I don't want to spend my entire time playing this game grinding for resources. It just makes it so much easier. Chunk reset. All this looks good. I'm going to change the airdrop to every seven days. Every three days is a little much for me. I'm slow enough that it doesn't really matter anyway. Does not matter here. Darkness falls. Here we go. Screamer horde zombies min. So at least 10, max 20, let's say minimum five. <laughs> uh, wandering horde, minimum hours every 24 hours. Can we put just like a random 26 hours? That sounds, uh, let's put it 18, maybe opposite way, 28. I like it. That way we never know when it's coming. Okay, maximum. Okay, let's put this. Oh, I see. You know what? We're going to wide range it. It's going to be so exciting. Wondering Horde. Oh, this is a Screamer Horde. This is a Wandering Horde. Okay, so we'll do minimum 5. Maximum, I think 30 is a little much. <laughs> Let's do 20. Actually, you know what? Screw it. We're being badasses today. Random world, large, medium, small. What is pep? What's no pep? I like pep. We'll do small map two. No pep. We don't get pep. All right, here we are. Let's see, we just have a thank you, extra special thanks. I'll let you guys read this if you want. This looks like backstory, so. I'm going to go ahead and read it. Uh, I do love a good backstory and seven days to die has always been a little bit lacking in that area. So if you guys want to skip ahead, go ahead. If you guys want to listen to me reading or trying to read, feel free to do that too. End of the road. No one expected the end of the world. Zombie movies, shows, and games always portrayed it starting off with a few unwell people that just snowballed out of control. You remember the sky going dark and zombies bursting out of the sewer system? Then the military came. They tried to hold back the tides while people ran for evacuation. You remember falling, hitting your head, and your world turning to darkness. Waking up, you heard gunfire and explosions, and your blurred vision eventually cleared to reveal a medical tent. Other survivors were around you, and you had been stripped of your undergarments to dress your wounds. One of the other survivors explained this was a stopping point, 
a temporary safe zone until you could all be moved to a more permanent one. But it seems the zombies found you first. You notice the other survivors had backpacks of stuff, planning to make their escape, and one was passed to you. With no other plan, you snuck out of the camp with the other survivors, and then you all broke and ran in separate directions so the zombies wouldn't notice you. Now you have no memory, no clothes, and no idea where you are. Maybe the backpack will have something of use. Okay, so... Okay, I see a backpack here. The backpack contained a tattered map. Looking at it and comparing the landmarks you can see, you notice something marked with an X. A note is scrawled next to it saying White River. Oh, the White River Trader. Maybe it's a settlement where you can be safe for a while. Hmm, let's see. Some floating stuff off in the distance. Am I in the wasteland? Like, right at the border of the wasteland. I hope this... Okay, you know what? It's fine. So we have a blank class paper. I don't know what that's for. We have a bedroll, a stone axe, and a small backpack. So I don't know what that did. <laughs> I see no change here. Everything is over encumbered. Oh, uh, just kidding. So that gave us, how many spaces are here? Five. 12. This is like a 92, I think, space backpack, which is cool. Okay. Um, I'd have no idea what to do with this, but let's, let's go ahead and head to the trader. I'm glad it's not in that direction. I'm going to just collect some items along the way. Grass, wood, Some gore is always appreciated, and hopefully I'll be able to hopefully I'll be able to make some arrows and a bow. Oh, how cute! Do we get lemons? Oh, we do. Oh, are they oranges? <gasps> I like it. Why? Why did the regular seven days never implement that? That's really cool. I would hope I would get more than two oranges, or whatever these are. Yeah, oranges. I would hope I'd get more oranges after cutting down a whole damn tree, but still. Alright. On a tree! Let's go! Oh, search tree stumps. Oh, they used to do that before. Look at what was hiding in the tree stumps. Vitamins and ammo. I had forgotten about that. I love how they have little throwbacks here. Right. Even even at 300% block damage, did you see how many hits that took? I would have been there for half an hour chopping that thing down. Alright. Let's see. Chicken, there's a zombie over there. Little hazmat guy, they're my favorite. I would keep one as a pet if I wasn't worried it would eat my face off. So I don't see I don't see a time. I have no idea what time it is. Hmm. Alright, let's check out this trader. Okay. This trader can also be broken into ah. <gasps> Joel! My favorite. Do you have any jobs? Check this out. It's got the name of the POIs right next to the quest. And it's not up here in this board anymore, so it's not all hard to read. Ranger Station Delta. I like it. I like it so much. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. We got some books. Do we have anything over here we can read? If we can break his stuff apart, can we get back here too? I want this. Why can't I have it? A pile of books with no books. How disappointing. 
I think somebody said something. <gasps> yes! You guys are so smart. Look at that. You zombies. No books. Untouched shoes. I hate shoes. In real life, shoes are just feet prisons. Toes all hot and sweaty. All crunched together. And then the socks. Don't get me started on socks. Ugh. Bunch it in your shoes. A little bathroom with Trader Joel shit. Interesting. Oh, my pills! Oh, look at that. That's cool. I like that little window. Okay, can we get up here? No, actually, we should be able to. Oh, we can't even break that apart. Okay. The only place in this area that you can't break. Uh, how do you get out of this place? Am I now a prisoner of Trader Joel? Is this... Is this what Trader Joel does? Oh, here we go. Ooh, I got scared for a second. Okay. I honestly didn't even dilute that. I will come back and loot completely in a little while. I want to go ahead and get started on this first quest. Oh, I already hear the hissing. Do we have enough to build? We do. Let's get our little zombie smasher out. Decaying corpse. There we go. Somebody else down there. Alright, let's actually take a look at bows. Bow, bow, bow. Here we go, primitive bow. I need one more plant fiber. All right, let's get this made. Our little axe is moving on down the line. We are already six over encumbered. Oh, a bag of peanuts. Can we eat these? Recipes, bag of trail mix, and a jar of peanut butter. That's actually really cool. I love peanut butter. I'm hungry. Oh my gosh. ADHD at its finest, guys. That was a peek into Miser's mind and the way that it works. It's a dark and scary place. We try not to go there very often. <laughs> Alright, I'm hoping to make some arrows too. We've got a few quills. What do we need here? We need sharp rocks. Uh I'm not sure where to find a sharp rock. Just regular rocks. Okay, it's got a recipe. Right there. Okay. Whoa. Did we have 34? Is that a one to one ratio? Yeah, one to one. Okay. Sweet. Oh, that's actually. Where's my feathers? There they are. My goodness. Oh look! I have sticks! I don't know where I got the sticks from. Must have been from that little orange bush. Tree? It's an orange tree, not an orange bush. Yeah. Sticks. You get sticks from the trees. I wonder if you get sticks from a regular tree. Okay, so you need a little tree to get sticks. Alright, dude. Look. Ooh! My second zombie! And look, he brought me money! What's that? Oh, it's a skull. Okay. Oh! Immediately! Awesome. With the bee buzzing around my head. No puppy. No bad puppy. Yeah. 
Miser bites back. That's right. That damn bee. He's just gonna run away far enough to hope I forget about him, and then he's gonna come back and try to bite my knees off. I'm I'm so worried about him. Okay. So Where is everybody? Let's get out of all the... I don't know what's happening. Oh, there he is. Okay. Just get high enough up that... Okay. He like stuck? He is. He's inside. Okay. Oh, that worked out really well for me, anyway. Okay, so... Oh. Hey, Crawler. He's angry. There we go. Um, oh, we've got points to spend. I forgot to spend the points. Okay, let's hop up here. Look at me. <gasps> oh, he was just guarding his little nest. Vulture eggs for dinner. Let's take a second. This looks mostly normal. So, I see we've got archery. I think these items level up as you use them, but I'm not 100% sure. So, got perks for crafting. Farmer class. This is, uh, I read something about the classes. So, you can go into different classes and kind of specialize there. Since I'm by myself, I have to specialize in everything. I'm a jack of all trades, if you will. So, we have mechanic class. Scientist, security, survivalist, and then technology. Biology, technology, futurology. Future technology. <laughs> Either or. Um, farmer, so chef. Sous? Sous? I don't know how to say that. Okay, so we have to go into this class because we like to eat your first class quest. How do we complete class quests? Learn by doing. But it doesn't tell me what my class quest is. Okay, I guess we're just gonna chill with that for right now. Oh! Oh, he is new! <gasps> Why does he look a little bit like a mix between... He looks like a mix between like Bill Nye and then have you guys ever seen Jeff Dunham? He's got the uh, the puppets. He looks like the old guy puppet. I forget his name. Oh, he's new too. He's a zombie stripper. That's right. Take that cowboy hat off. He slowly pulls his sombrero off of his head, throws into the crowd, <laughs> sits down, and the crowd can grab his boots and help yank them off. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Alright, so I'm gonna have to come over here and kill him because reasons. Excuse me. Sir, I know you're just about doing your business. But you have to die now. Okay. Would not have struck me as a stripper. There we go. Alright. I'm well acquainted with this. And this floor is going to drop out. Okay. There we go. Oh. Bruh. 
Whoa. I'm a little surprised. I don't know what to do with this backwards wearing cat dude here. Besides beat him, I suppose. Ooh. You missed. The hazmat zombies spit now. That's actually so smart. Although, how are you going to be spitting with your mask on? Oh, you guys were my favorite. And now, that doesn't sound good. Don't hide behind cars when things are exploding, I suppose, is the lesson to take away on that one. That was the cop. Look at him. That's hilarious. Oh, wow. Okay. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> What have we got here? Pocket mod. I want it. Do I need to eat? I'm not sure. Ah, my hunger is down on the bottom right hand side. That's awesome. A level 19 bone knife. Get out of here. Level 1. I don't need you anymore. Okay. Let's see what we got. Lots of books. Forged ahead. Pistols. Something or other, I don't know. And knuckles, which I'm not gonna use. Right. I think this is the end loot already, right? Because this is the. Oh no, find the white rubber supplies. Supplies, supplies. If the zombie can climb up, so can I. Okay, here we go. I want these books first, though. And scrap armor is awesome. Okay, so... I think we have... Yeah, here we go. Seems like a good place. And on the roof. What an excellent spot to hide your shit. Okay, we're done with that. Let's get out of here. Where's our... There. Aha. After my experience with the joke mod, I feel like this place is not safe at all. Yeah, great. You did it. Okay. Great job, Iron Spirit, Trevor. clean water. Generic schematic. Used for making notes while building complex items. Pipe pistol, though. I don't have a gun yet. Yeah, let's, let's do the pistol. I hate these. Actually, let's do the iron spear. I feel like the spear is a little bit more solid. Okay, find swines. Pete's hidey hole. I Will like Pete's hidey hole. How far okay, was that? Maybe next time. A kilometer? Safe travels, friend. Mm, find swines is okay. Job, I don't want to travel all that way. I have no idea what time it even is. I was clearing out my my items for my computer so that I could change everything over and I saved my games not thinking hello there's different folders it's a steam folder it's a whole thing I was kind of under the impression that oh my shit broke I was kind of under the impression that I could just re-download steam and all of my information would be there I don't know why I thought that I'm obviously <laughs> not to be trusted around technology but so far since the only thing that's really happened is that I lost a few game saves I'm not mad at how the the whole updating thing turned out for somebody who's notoriously bad with technology and stuff like that I'm over the moon at how this is working out a lot of that might have to do with uh, Pig Hammer, who helped me. He's, bless his heart, the most patient person ever. 
but uh, I'm just really happy with it. I've got all the space now. I was able to download four different games, five different games, I think. And I still need to download the coffee plants. I was uh, going to download Green Hell as well because I love that game. It's just a little bit, well, some points, um, like the maggots and stuff like that. A little bit iffy, but it's a lot of fun to play and it's really challenging. I like it a lot, so checking that out. Stone hammer. Why is the stone hammer different than the stone axe? All right, back to our regularly scheduled. Wow, it couldn't hold my weight. I feel so fat right now. <laughs> but you know what? Food, so yay. <laughs> Shit. Oh my gosh. I knew it. I knew he was going to attack me. Why he waited so long? I don't know. He waited for me to get like unsuspecting or something. Ooh, honey. Okay, you're forgiven. How hurt am I? I have 46 health left. Do you have anything for health? Oh my goodness. That scared the crap out of me. I was not expecting that. Um, I like the way of... Uh, Arrow retrieval is gone. I also feel like it's getting late, but I don't know. The rabbit. <laughs> oh. Calm down, Porky. There we go. Look at that. I'm glad I didn't panic at all. Okay. Let's take a look here. Barrels are nothing now. I'm not going to worry about that. I'm already out of arrows, so... Oh. <gasps> oh my lord. It has been too long since I've played this game. Yikes. Okay. No, you stay in there. They put Arlene. I wonder if they can break through the doors now. Yeah, they should be able to. Oh, that's a lot of hit points, though. Right. Useless, but appreciated. Ooh. Those gore blocks really slow you down. This is a clear the area too, so. Oh, they're up here. This is what happened earlier. I don't have any arrows. It's kind of a pain in the ass to have to do all these steps every time you need to make an arrow really quickly. Part of what I love about arrows is how quick and easy. Oh, hello. The, uh,. The creation of the actual arrows are. Ooh, he bounced. Ah, he bounced a lot. All right. Oops. Oh no, that was the last one. I hear somebody walking around outside. Okay. So the other one is literally outside. I'm going to try to climb up here. Oh. Bye! Guess we're gonna come down and get him. Whoopsie. Just close that door while our stamina regenerates. Close this door too. 
Whoa, he does way more damage than Arlene did. He he died of fright. He was so scared, he just killed over. Yo. Ma'am. I don't think he's supposed to do that, chick. Nothing to explode here, nothing to explode here. And we're done. These zombies practically killed themselves. I like it. Uh... There we go. That's, that's a sweet spot. Everything explodes here. I don't know what to do with this. Alright, so I don't see an end loot. Maybe, maybe up here. Got these, yeah, the, this right here is the end loot. Alright, we've got some leg armor. I will wear that. Padded leg armor. Uh, not crazy about it. Some 44, I think. Repair kits are good, I guess. I do need a stone shovel. And then what do we have over here? Weapons. Molotovs. Okay. Not the best, not the worst. This is a level one. All right. Let's go take this back to the trader. Howdy ho there, neighbor. You've made my day. Oh, I'm glad. Okay, these look pretty good. I really want these sterile bandages, but they got an iron pickaxe. I think I'm going to have to go with the iron pickaxe. All right, let's see your inventory. We'll do a fetch for Alistair's cabin, for you for well, but we'll do that tomorrow. We're going to find some place to rolling. hole up for the night. Okay, I thank you kind, sir. Sir? I'm a lady. Yeah. It's night. Uh, doesn't he have a room up here that we could possibly steal, borrow? Rent, rent. That's what I meant. Yeah, I like it. Since we are not safe in here, I feel perfectly justified in holding up in his bell tower. So, ooh, what was that? It's so pretty. I don't know why it's so cute, but I like it. How much? Okay, we're good. All right, so I'm gonna close that up. Picking that up. Breaking this. Gonna make this into a cozy little overnight roost. Like it. All right. I like the idea of... I think we've mostly made it through the night. I do hear somebody beating downstairs on something or other. I like the idea of kind of making this little lookout tower our little nest. I, I did that. I'm having some issues with the hammer versus the axe. Um, there is a hammer. That's like an actual stone hammer, and that is actually used for upgrading. Unfortunately, I made all of my rocks into sharp rocks, and I can't unmake them, so we have to live with our decisions. Uh, once I get that back, I'll, I'll fix the door. So I hear him down there. I don't want to go down there because it's dark and scary, but he can't get to me. So I'm completely safe. I like the idea of living here permanently. Like, this could be our actual house. We would probably have the items we need, the benches, here. And then upstairs, we would have storage boxes probably up here. Maybe maybe we could even have the storage boxes up along the top of the wall. I don't know. Something to think about. What do you guys think? Should we make this into our little base? 
Should we maybe take over a POI outside of the trader? Just because we don't necessarily want zombies destroying, you know, Joel's house. Or should we build our own? I'm going to go ahead and end it here. You guys leave your thoughts and comments down below. To everyone that's taken the time to comment, like, or subscribe, thank you so much. I can't tell you how much it means to me. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. And if you want notifications when I go live or if I post content, which is typically Thursday, Saturday, and Monday at 12 p.m. PST, I am West Coast, hit the notification bell. Until next time, bye. And that's why you don't go downstairs in the dark, folks.